Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. I have a confession to make and that is Sephora took all of my money when I was in LA and New York. I did a massive shop there and I'm gonna put my hands up. I do not regret buying anything, but I may have gone a little bit overboard with some skincare items. And funnily enough, I didn't get that many makeup items, which is very, very unlike me, but the older I've gotten, the more into skincare I have gotten because when I was in my teens, I really didn't care for my skin and I barely used to wash it, I barely used to cleanse it, I barely used to do anything to it. However, today I'm gonna be showing you guys all the things that I bought. In case you are wondering, the makeup that I have on my face. My next video is gonna show you exactly how I got this look. It is me testing out a bunch of new makeup and it will be the next video that goes up, so please don't forget to watch out for that. If you wanna keep up to date with my videos, don't forget to subscribe, which the button is just down there and if you hit the bell next to it it'll notify you every single time I upload you'll get like a pop-up on your phone that I've uploaded a video with that being said I'm gonna show you guys all the things that I got I think I'm gonna do makeup first because there really isn't that much the first three things that I got were these three Sephora pro palettes. now the question is did I need these three palettes the answer is no. <laughs> but because there is no Sephora in the UK, whenever I do go there, I do get a little bit crazy. And especially with things that you can't get in the UK, I will just snap everything up. And because they had all three there, I picked every single one up. I'm gonna open these to show you guys exactly what they are. I did open them in the shop to make sure that they weren't broken or smashed. But here is the Pro... Oosh, here is the Sephora Pro palette in the shade Warm. And I love, 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 love the tones in this. There's loads of mattes in here. I feel like the gold is kind of like smushed down here. But I am going to swatch some shades. I'm just going to pick three random shades to swatch for you guys. I've done two mattes, one shimmer. So this is the black in the palette and that is pigmented. You've also got a gold shade in there and a very kind of bricky orange red. The bricky orange red is a little bit patchy, um, but that's literally because I went like this on my hands and I didn't kind of do anything else to them. They are very, very pigmented from like the first swatch. I'm going to try and see if these come off. The black does not want to budge. So I'm assuming these will be very, very good on the eyes. I feel like they will last a very long time as well. In case you're wondering, these were quite expensive. I don't have the prices of anything in front of me, but everything will be linked in the info box below. The next one I'm going to show you guys is the editorial palette. And look at this. I mean, they're very, very bright. And I will probably only pick this palette up when I'm doing a very colorful look. But I love that this has like a mixture of neon shades, which are all of these ones here and then you've got this bottom row and these three right here minus the black which are all shimmers and I feel like I can do so many amazing looks with this palette especially like these three colors here for the summer I know we're in completely the wrong season <laughs> for this palette but um there are some stunning 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 colors in here and again the only reason why I got this is because we unfortunately don't have Sephora here in the UK. But now I'm just gonna swatch some of these shades. They are quite powdery. And I've also swatched two mattes and one shimmer. You can tell that they're a little bit patchy because they are quite powdery. Here is a close-up of all three shades. The shimmers so far have been my favorite to swatch, that's for sure. And then last but not least, we have the Cool palette. Now this was the palette that I was looking forward to the most because I don't have that many cool eyeshadows. I just love the tones of this because you do have your kind of like slightly warmer tones around here, but the rest are very, very cool. And you know what? When I first started wearing eyeshadow and makeup in general, I used to always be drawn to the cool colors. So I'm actually really glad that I picked this one up. And again, I'm gonna swatch some shades for you guys. So this time I swatched two shimmers and one matte. The first top shimmer is a gorgeous like two-tone rose gold but yellow. The middle one we have a gray and then the last one is this like beautiful two-tone silver. Actually I'd call it more of like a minky tone but it's very 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 beautiful. This is gonna look so 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 stunning on the eyes. But yeah these are the three eyeshadow palettes that I picked up. Were they necessary? Not really. After swatching them am I impressed with them? The matte shades are quite powdery but I feel like a little will go a very very long way. But I can't wait to actually try these especially the cool tone palette. I'm very very excited for that. And then the last makeup thing that I got is this lipstick. <laughs> Me and 
and my friend both picked this colour up. This is going to be like our friendship bracelet, but in the form of lipstick. <laughs> this is Blondie by Bite. I've been wearing this a lot. I'm actually going to put some on now so you guys can see what it looks like. It is such a gorgeous like nude nude. It is a true nude. And I feel like I don't actually have that many true nude shades. So I was actually really happy that we picked this one up because I feel like I will get a lot of use out of this. I'm just lining my lips very slightly. This is what I've been doing every time I wear this. I wear 1993 lip liner and this is by Urban Decay. And then I just plop some of this into the center. And with a lip liner, it is such a beautiful nude. And it's not like super, super, super matte. So it's really comfortable to wear. And I love the packaging of it. So that was the last makeup thing that I picked up. And the rest is all skincare and hair. I'm gonna go over the hair bits first because I had two blow dries by Dry Bar when I was out there. And I fell in love with two products which I had to pick up. So the first is Bay Breeze. This is a treatment for your hair. It's like a deep conditioning treatment. You basically use a whole bottle of this into your hair when you're washing it before you condition it. I probably wouldn't use the whole bottle because it is very very heavy I'd probably use half the bottle but put this all in your hair leave it for about five to seven minutes and then wash it out and this I kid you not made my hair so so soft that I was like I need this in my life so I picked some of this up and then also the sparkling soda so when I first got a blow dry I wanted like dead poker straight hair and it was slightly like not as sleek as I wanted it to be and I was like can we put something in it and she was like yeah sure and she put some of this in there and I could instantly see that my hair was like shining without it looking or feeling greasy or heavy so Sparkling soda. I'm so glad I have you in my life along with Bay Breeze. I'm gonna save these and I'm only gonna use these on special occasions because you only get four in here. But if anyone lives in America, I would highly recommend checking out Dry Bar because their blow dries that I've had so far, I've only had three of their blow dries like ever, but they have probably been like one of the best blow dry places that I've been to. And I'm genuinely like really, really loving their products as well. Moving on to skincare. I think I'm gonna start off like the way that I would probably apply these. I don't know why I did this to myself, but I bought three cleansers. The first cleanser is this Bosha cleanser. This is the weird like jelly cleanser that comes in a ball. I just got sucked into the hype of it. As you can see, I've not tried it out. I will probably try this out on Instagram live. So if you follow me on Instagram, or if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do because I'm gonna be testing this bad boy out and seeing what the fuss is about. <laughs> but yeah, this was purely a YouTube slash Instagram slash social media purchase. And the next purchase is a bit of a funny one because one of the girls that I was with was after a night cream and I was talking to one of the sales assistants. She was like, hey, can I help? And I was like, oh yeah, sure. Do you have any night creams? She showed me a night cream, which I bought, but she also started showing me different bits from the same brand and I fell in love with the cleanser. And that is this pharmacy green clean cleanser it comes in this pot you have this little lid with oh a spoon slash spatula thing <laughs> and this is what you have I have clearly used quite a bit of it this was the only thing that I used to take my makeup off when I was in America and I'm gonna show you the consistency of this it looks like a balm on the uh, spatula and even in the pot but as soon as you start rubbing it into your skin it turns into, can you see that, an oil. This is, for me, the best of both worlds because I love a cleansing balm and I also love cleansing oils and this just melts my makeup away. It is insane. I also love the smell of it. It is so refreshing, but it's so oily. Like, if you love a balm or oil cleanser, I would highly recommend checking this out. I thought you could only get this from Sephora, so what did I go and do? I bought a backup. You can actually get this from Cult Beauty, which I found out later. But yeah, you can get this from here in the UK and I just have a spare. But I have genuinely loved using this. I'm so glad that I picked up another. Um, and I love the fact that it's big, but it's light. Like it's really light. It's not heavy or bulky. So I am definitely gonna be traveling with this because I am off to India and I cannot wait. By the time this video goes up, I will be on a plane to India and I'm so, so, so excited. But this is the cleanser that I'm gonna be taking with me uh, because it just, melts my makeup off so 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 quickly and that includes like the amount of mascara that I wear. My eye makeup can sometimes be quite heavy um, but speaking of pharmacy the brand I also picked up their sleep balm. Actually no this is the sleep tight firming night balm and it comes with this kind of green texture. I haven't used this that much actually and um, I think I used it on two nights but again it's kind of like a gel looking formula but when you kind of rub it into your skin it turns into like a light oil. Nothing too heavy, not as heavy as the cleansing oil. Again it smells really really 
really, really refreshing. I've been really liking this brand in general, and I will definitely be checking out some other bits from the range now that I realize that you can get it from the UK. <laughs> Next two things are from Drunk Elephant. I love the brand Drunk Elephant. I first discovered it when I went I back in April to Sephora in um, LA, and one of the products, which is this right here, the baby facial, was out of stock, and I was told that every time that they put this on shelves, it sells out like hotcakes. So I picked one of these up. This is the TLC Sukari Baby Facial, and I actually got an oil in here as well, a little three mil oil sample. But this um, is basically a at-home facial. It gently exfoliates pore lining, and it gets rid of built up dead skin cells, and it has 22% AHA and 2% BHA. And this basically has a whole bunch of different facial acids, which means whenever this is to be used, an SPF is used the next morning, because it gets rid of all like the dead layers of skin cells on your skin. So yeah, it's always, always, always recommended to use SPFs after using things like this. I have used this once and the next day my skin felt like brand new and I can't wait to use this more. I'm only gonna use this once a week, probably on a Friday, so that for the weekend my skin is nice and kind of like clean and clear and soft and supple and like a baby. <laughs> but I am really glad that this was uh, in stock so I could pick one up finally. Um, and then I also got their very famous TLC Framboss Glycolic night serum. And I need to make sure that I don't use this with any products that I'm not supposed to because you don't want to be using too many acids on your face. The day that I use this, I'll probably use no acids because it is quite heavy. But this one I feel like I could use every night. But I haven't actually used this one before, so I'm yet to kind of give you guys my thoughts on it. I do a lot of get unready with me's on Instagram, so I'll, I'll no doubt be using it there. But those are the two drunk elephant things that I got. And then I only have two more things left. Actually, no I don't. I actually just had to go and grab these three things, and these are three Sephora face masks. I always, always, always pick up one or two, sometimes three, uh, face masks from Sephora because I think they're really good value for money and they do a whole bunch of different sheet masks for different things. I got the Rose face mask, which is ultra moisturizing and brightening, the Orchid face mask, which is anti-aging and smoothing, and then the Lotus face mask, which is moisturizing and soothing as well. Went for a bit of a pink and purple theme. <laughs> but then as a last, last minute purchase, I also picked up this Dr. Jart rubber mask. I just want to put this rubbery thing on my face. I might do it as an Instagram live or I might do it as a video. Let me know if you want to see it as a video because I would love to film that. But the packaging and just this weirdness of this mask just sucked me in. And all the other girls are getting one. I was getting mask envy, so I was like, I'll get one as well. You have this solution right here, which you put all over your face, and then you get the rubber mask and you put that on top and you leave it on for about 30 to 40 minutes. I actually feel like this would be really funny to do on the plane. Could you imagine the people around you just being like, what the hell has she got on her face? It's got uh, vitamin A, B, C, and E, and grapefruit extract, which moisturizes and to balance the look of an uneven skin tone, resulting in a radiant and healthy look. If that doesn't make you want to get this on your face, I don't know what is. That is the last mask that I got. And then the last, last thing that I got is a repurchase because I absolutely love this product and I have hit the bottom of the bottle. So I definitely needed to get a backup. And that is this moon fruit, which is from Herbivore. It's something that I picked up back in April and I basically just got it because of the name, but it is actually really, really good. <laughs> Open it and show you what it looks like inside. It's got this like purple look to it and you basically pop this on to your face. It's very weird when you first put it on. It's kind of almost like a paste, but you really kind of massage it into the skin. It works really well with a facial oil. I actually have the Lapis facial oil, which is also by Herbivore and I use it together. Um, it is a multi-masking night treatment that feeds the skin with superfruits and it gently resurfaces with fruit enzyme and hydrates deeply with a blend of exotic butters and hyaluronic acid all while you sleep. So it's doing all those things and all you've got to do is put this on and go to sleep, which is why I love it. But every single time I do use this, my skin the next day is looking and feeling really soft, very, very, very smooth as well. But I do really like just how easy and effective it is for my skin and for my face. And I just love it. It smells really funky. It is quite expensive, but I absolutely love it, which is why I bought it again, just so that I have a backup. <laughs> but that, you guys, is the end of my crazy Sephora haul. I spent way too much money on palettes and skincare. I feel like I need to go on a bit of a Sephora ban. I know there are so many people who love Sephora and want it here in the UK, but 
a small part of me doesn't want it to come here only because, hear me out, only because that feeling that I get every single time I go into Sephora, like outside of the UK, I get so excited. I feel like I'm a little kid in like a sweet shop and I just get so excited to go up and down all of the aisles and I feel like if it was here, like at our doorstep, I probably wouldn't get that feeling if you know what I mean. So um, I don't know if I'm crazy. I don't know if anyone else feels like that, but, um, but yeah, that is the end of this Sephora haul. I know I got a lot of skincare items, but no doubt you will see me using these on Instagram Live. So make sure you do follow me on that. Again, if you would like to see this makeup look, then my next video is all about this face. And yeah, I guess that is all for now, you guys. Thank you so much for sticking along if you made it to the end. All of the items that I've mentioned in this video will be linked in the description box below. So please don't forget to check that out. To all of my followers in India, please make sure you're following me on Instagram because I am going to be updating you guys with my um, meetup and whereabouts and things like that so I cannot wait to meet you guys I'm so 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 excited but yeah thank you so much for watching I'm gonna get going because I have spoken far too much and yeah I guess I will see you all in my next video Bye.